Hello guys! Hello! Welcome back to Curiosity! Last time we just did those last two rooms, which are actually really fun, but challenging. And this way we go to the bonus level rooms that combine elements from other levels. So this is like everything combined. Quite literally. <laughs> so apparently rock rooms can walk on... Um... Shallow water. Yes, they can. So, the first puzzle is getting past this rock alum, which I assume you've done. Yes. Alright, it's probably really easy. Maybe not. Um, the only way I could see it is he needs to be right here when he dies, or right here. So, to get past there, or we could put him on the water, that works too. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> this mentor laughs at me. <laughs> Let's, um, there's a, probably a trap door somewhere in there, but to get to that, we have to get to that, to get to that, we need to get the golem there to do all that. Okay. So we need to get a golem over here. Like, uh, there. This is not the time to be yawning. Oh, I see. We're going to need to... Um... Oh, yeah. We're going to have to get all three over there. Okay. I see. This won't be too... This won't be too hard, but... Um... Should be good. All right, so we get over here, so we can sneak back over here. Maybe not. Of course, that one can be last. All right, I know what I need to do. Now I just need to do it. Okay. Come, Golem. Let's march. You can't kill me, Roach. Ha ha ha. Oh, uh, no, it needs to be that one for... Okay, okay, I think I got the order now. I think I for sure have the order now. Maybe. So first, you, there. You're easy to get over here. Next, we get you all the way up here. We get you there. Get you over here. Like that. And then you just rinse and repeat. Except we want you to come in in a different way. There we go. Like that. Except now the trick for you is... There we go. Then we open that up. And now we have to get into the mud. And... Find this trap door. Which does not exist. So that's not what we do. <laughs> we need to make a spot to kill it. How do you do that? How do you make a spot to kill a snake with mud? I'm confused. I don't remember how I did this, but it is possible. Which I'm sure is a great comfort to you. Yes, it's good that's possible. Oh, I wish I could make him go... Okay, first I'm going to try to shrink him. Be nice if I can just shrink him, it'll make everything easier. Let's get over here. Wish your preference would change. No. Oh, 
Uh, if I could just close. Well, I could always go that way. Oh, there we go. Shrunk him. Yay. I don't want you this way, though. I want you... Oh, Trunky more. Okay, yay. <laughs> he likes being shrunk today. Oh, oh, come on. Go this way. Go this way. No, no. Oh man, he needs to be... Ah, I need to wait. Okay, let me just let me just wait. See if his preference changes. If not, times where you wish they were actually um. There we go. Clear. So that makes one west finished. So let's go this way since the door opened up for us. I don't think it really matters though. Oh wow, there's a lot of puzzles this way. How many are this way? Huh. Okay, so it's a one-time deal once we go to the other side. And for some reason there's an ice path over here. Not sure why. Is this ice a custom texture? Which? It's a bridge. No, but this ice right here. That's what bridges look like in the Iceworks style. I did not know that. <laughs> uh, you, should, you, you should see the Alex Dina video of that room in Holding Vats where it appears for the first time. And he, I think he goes through nearly the whole room without realizing it's a bridge. That is actually pretty neat. Okay, that gives me an idea for my own hold then. <laughs> Just because of that bridge. Okay, but anyway. We're playing Curiosity. And from the looks of things, I need stuff to happen. Preferably. <laughs> so, to open this door... We need this to be held down to open this door. We need this to be held down to kill these two. This one, though, we want it to be on and off so we can, you know, get through. I mean, we need, like, an eye up there. We need a golem right here. Okay, I see nothing wrong with that idea. So, first things first, get the golem out of here, you get over here, have one of you follow us. You can follow me here. Except the problem now is he dies before following me. Because he's too slow. <laughs> slow poke. I don't think there's anywhere to replace this, is there? To make it efficient. I mean, what can I do that keeps the golem from falling? I guess if he was right next to me, like right here, and I was moved this way, he would go up here with me, right? Yes. Um. Maybe. <laughs> we'll find out. No, he dies. I hate this golem. Well, then why don't you have a problem with dunking him in the water? Because <laughs> I need a golem to get this, right? Yes. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe that's the trick. You don't use the golems. I right. come with me. Yeah, I can't walk across. Uh Okay. You don't need the eye to walk across, do you? Oh. 
<laughs> completely block off its vision range. That's <laughs> that's not gonna help. You come here. You're going on a party journey with me. Why does everything die before I can get it across? I think this bridge is just destined to fail. Okay, so the trick to this puzzle is how do you get stuff across the bridge? I mean, I could do this. If I could just like avoid all of these, I could easily make a temp not a temporary bridge, but a permanent bridge. What's the point of this over here? Hmm. All right, so I think I think I have to walk across there. I'm not sure. What if these are not even on and off? They are. <laughs> Okay. I'm guessing this is one you have not solved. <laughs> I have solved it. It's not difficult at all. <laughs> it's just a matter of observation. Observation. I mean, I could go over here. How does that help? It doesn't. <laughs> I mean, I could have a golem here. Then get a golem here and here. Then have a bridge that gets something across there somehow, and then somehow get back over here. And this is not going to work, is it? No. Well. Ah. Oh, that works. <laughs> All right, so I got to get one of you guys up here at a time. All right, so how do I get something there and then kill something? All right, because I need an eye right there. I can get the golem, oh, the goblin, the golem over here. Okay, we got one. Now, how do I get these guys where I want them? a good question. Simple, actually. First of all, we get them all the way over here. But not necessarily in there. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that's fine. Then we can get them over here. Get him over here. Boom. So that's not what I want. Boom. And then do the same thing again. Kinda. Hopefully. Except maybe a little less difficult. There we go. Now how do we work this eye to go where we want to go? Something like that should work just fine. Then go up here. There we go. I think that does it. Let's try it. On off, there we go. Yay. I did it, Nuntar. You did it. <laughs> so going up. Ah, oh. this room looks like it just has a ton going on. Bonus challenge: step on the vision token while clearing the room. Huh? Okay, so it looks like this is kind of like um. 
One of those secret levels in um what you call it? Seeding grounds. Yeah, where you just gotta pick the right one. Yes. But this yeah, okay, so yeah, this this looks fine. So what happens if I picked one like this? I think it's fraud. Ah, too many yawns. <laughs> ah, the brains. Forgot. Oh, this looks like a headache. Just trying to figure out which one to pick. Okay, well we can just we can go one direction and just try every single one and see which ones work. I guess that's a good start. After all, with four platforms, there are only 24 possible arrangements. You could just try them all. <laughs> Wait, what? Wait, what do you mean try them all? I'm just saying you could. You could try every platform in every... Um, for every section of the room, you'll, you'll eventually find out which ones work. We seem to have got that one. Oh, is this the right one? I can't remember. I just said that you seem to have got it because you managed to kill the eye and escape. And... So no matter what, that one works. Okay. But what if the other ones don't work? <laughs> then you'll have to go back and rearrange things. Okay. Uh, it's, this is just tedious. <laughs> uh, Kieran, why? <laughs> Oh, I thought this was a good room. No, this is a good room. You solved this one, I'm guessing. Yes. Uh, okay, so I just need one that can go diagonal like this. But where it keeps him at bay? Alright, depends. I need to have my sword in the right direction. I need to delay his turn one turn. How do I do that? This is the only way, I'm afraid. So I need to delay his turn one turn, right? Step on the to conquer token when clearing the room. That means this one right here would have to be the final one, because then I could place it there, or this one. And then I could place it there and jump on the conquer token. Yes. This is the wrong one. Well, wouldn't that mean I would have to clear this one last? I think so, yes. Well, I can't see wine anymore. <laughs> if I had this one... If I had this one right here, I could sneak it in there, but I wouldn't be able to get in there. Is there a one that can fit right here and right here? No. That's that's not helpful. <laughs> How do you get back up there? Ah. 
Do you have any yawns? How do I get back up here if I actually get one in here that could go up here? You have to hit the vision token before releasing the eye and going down. But isn't the challenge kill step on the token while killing something? While, while clearing the room. So it just means in the same visit as clearing the room. So it's saying you can't clear the room and then come back and get the vision token because that would be trivial. Oh, so it's as simple as that. Well, that well, other than the fact that... I still have no idea how to stop this eye. None, none at all. You're turning your sword the wrong way. You need it facing west to kill that brain. But is this the right idea? Ah, now I've remembered something. What? The reason you might want to do this uh, this one last is that everything will become unbrained if that's the last brain you kill. And that might conceivably help. Alright. Cool. <laughs> so then, which one do I go up here with? Well, I can keep him off. Okay, that one was easy. And now it's literally between these two. I'll go with this one, because this one's pretty. So this looks like just a timing puzzle. Right? Yeah. That one's easy. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Alright, get that in the same visit. Clear. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> That's a great challenge name. I'm gonna look back at that and be like, what did I just say? <laughs> <laughs> Place again. Apparently, Kieran was inspired by my um, idiosyncratic challenge names in King Dugan's Dungeon. <laughs> I, 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 I feel honored. <laughs> you do have good challenge names, Antar. Thank you. <laughs> um. So next time, since it looks like we're about halfway through this level, right? Or halfway through this side. Yeah. So next time we'll finish the other half. Does that sound good? We can try. <laughs> All right. <laughs> See you then, everybody. Goodbye.